Good boy. Good boy. When I first met him, he was just so tiny and so fluffy and cute, and he has these two different colored eyes. Mops seemed pretty excited to have a new friend around. Mops is silly. I was fostering him, but it literally only took a day until I realized I really want to keep him. So the first night at home, Brooms was so sweet and timid. He was becoming a little more curious, but he was still very reserved. So I figured that would be his true personality, but I was wrong. <laughs> he gets zoomies like crazy and such intense kitten energy. I find him sometimes tackling Mops to the ground. He got really used to the place and he was just jumping off of everything. So things were a little bit rocky at first. I wasn't sure whether or not they would get along. When Brooms would pass by, Mops would just kind of stare, a little bit afraid that Brooms would come by and just tackle him down to the ground. It's just kind of a really funny little brother situation where Brooms just wants to pick fights with Mops. It wasn't until one day I came home and I actually saw them cuddling in bed together. Oh my god, hi. Are you guys best friends? It was crazy to see all of the first times of them just being cordial with one another and just snuggling. <sighs> it's official. They seriously get along. One night I actually caught Mops grooming brooms and being such a good big brother. I adopted Mops when he was six. When I first got him, he was so timid and shy and scared. And I think that Brooms really brings Mops out of his shell. Now they get along so well, and I'm so happy that Mops has a new friend to spend the rest of his life with. Like, comment, and subscribe.